Hey, English learners! Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Teacher Sam and Mary. We are so excited to have you here with us today. Today you're in for a fun session. We're going to show you how shadowing can help you master describing people's characters. Shadowing is a powerful technique that involves listening to a native speaker and then repeating what they say. It's like having a conversation partner who is always available and never gets tired. Whether you're just starting or looking to improve your English speaking skills, shadowing is one of the best ways to enhance your fluency. It helps you get used to the natural flow and rhythm of the language. Plus, it's a great way to build your confidence in speaking. It's like having a conversation with a native speaker, even if you're alone in your room. Imagine being able to practice your English anytime, anywhere. You don't need a partner or a teacher right there with you. All you need is a good audio source and a little bit of time. By listening and repeating, you're training your mouth and brain to naturally produce those sounds and rhythms. This method helps you internalize the language patterns, making it easier for you to speak without thinking too much about grammar or vocabulary. In this session, we're focusing on describing people's characters, an essential skill for conversation. Being able to talk about someone's personality is crucial in many situations, whether you're making new friends, working with colleagues, or just chatting with someone. Think about it. We talk about people all the time. Describing someone's character can help you connect with others and share your thoughts more clearly. It's a fundamental part of communication. So, being able to describe their personalities in English is a game changer. Are you ready, Mary? We're going to dive into some fun and practical exercises that will help you get the hang of it. Sure, I'm ready. I can't wait to get started and help everyone improve their English skills. Let's make this session both educational and enjoyable. Okay, let's start by talking about our best friends and their characters. I'll describe my best friend first, and then you'll shadow me repeating and imitating what I say, dot, and Mary will describe her observation of Sarah's character. Remember, it's not just about the words, but also the tone and the way I say them. Ready? My best friend Sarah is incredibly kind. Her kindness is not just a fleeting moment, but a consistent part of who she is. It's woven into the very fabric of her being, and it radiates in everything she does. She's the type of person who always goes out of her way to help others, even if she's busy. Whether it's helping someone carry their groceries or lending a hand with a difficult task, Sarah is always there, ready to assist. You know, she volunteers at a local animal shelter every weekend. It's not just a duty for her, it's a passion. She loves spending time with the animals, ensuring they feel loved and cared for, and she's always the first one to offer help if someone's feeling down. I've seen her drop everything to comfort a friend in need, offering a shoulder to cry on and words of encouragement. She just has this big heart, and she genuinely cares about making the world a better place. Her smile is infectious, and her hugs are warm and comforting, making everyone around her feel valued and loved. I remember this one time we were walking down the street and we saw this homeless man asking for money. It was a cold day and he looked so vulnerable. Sarah, without hesitation, went into a nearby bakery and bought him a sandwich and a hot coffee. She didn't just hand it to him and walk away, she took the time to talk to him, to listen to his story. It was such a small gesture, but it meant the world to that man. His eyes lit up with gratitude and for a moment he felt seen and cared for. And that's just who Sarah is, always thinking of others and putting their needs before her own. She has this incredible ability to make everyone feel important and valued. She inspires me to be a better person and I'm so grateful to have her in my life. Her actions remind me daily of the impact one person can have on the world. Can you repeat what I said about Sarah character step by step? I'm sure you will capture the essence of kindness. It's not just about grand gestures, but the small, everyday acts that make a difference. Now let's move on to another quality that makes Sarah so special. Her kindness is just one facet of her incredible personality. Exactly. You know, having a friend you can always count on is one of the greatest blessings in life. It's like having a safety net that you can always rely on no matter what happens. Another thing I love about Sarah's character is that she's very reliable. Whenever someone needs her, she's there, and that kind of dependability is rare and precious. If she says she'll do something, you can trust that it'll get done. It's not just about keeping promises. It's about the peace of mind that comes with knowing someone has your back. She's always there for people no matter what. Whether it's a small favor or a big crisis, people around her can turn to her without hesitation. For example, if you are moving to a new apartment, Sarah is the kind of person that can drop everything she is doing and come over to help, even though she has a million other things to do. 
she will just offer a hand. Sarah's help is not just for a little bit. She will stay all day until everything is done. Her dedication and support made a world of difference. That's just the kind of friend she is, always there to lend a helping hand, no matter how big or small the task. Her willingness to help out, even when it's inconvenient for her, shows her true character. Sarah is someone you can always count on, and that means the world to all the people around her. It's not just about the help she provides. It's about the unwavering support and the feeling of not being alone. Reliability is such an important quality in a friend, and Sarah definitely has it in spades. It's a trait that builds trust and strengthens the bond between friends and family. And it's not just about the big moments. Even in the small, everyday interactions, her reliability shines through. Whether it's meeting up for coffee or just being there to listen, she never lets people around her down. You're a natural, Mary. Your ability to express Sarah's character is clearly impressive. Now let's see how to use the keywords kind, reliable, funny, and generous in different contexts. Kind in a different context. At work, you can say, my colleague is so kind, she always offers to help when I'm overwhelmed. At home, you can say, my mom is kind to everyone, even strangers. In social context, you can say, he's kind to animals, always rescuing stray cats. The next word is reliable use in different contexts. At work, you can say, we trust Sarah with deadlines because she's reliable. At home, you can say, my brother is reliable when it comes to picking me up on time. In social context, you can say, a reliable friend is someone you can count on in tough times. Funny is another beautiful word we can use in different contexts. At work, you can say, John makes funny jokes during meetings to lighten the mood. At home, you can say, my dad's funny stories always make family dinners enjoyable. In social context, you can say, she's so funny that she always becomes the center of attention at parties. I love this word generous. You can use it in different contexts also. At work, you can say, our manager is generous with giving credit where it's due. At home, you can say, my aunt is generous with her time, always helping with family gatherings. In social context, you can say, he's generous with compliments, which makes everyone feel appreciated. These examples show how versatile these words can be in various settings, helping learners build strong English communication skills. Now it's your turn. Practice shadowing this video and don't be afraid to use these words when describing your friends or colleagues. I'm sure you're ready to tell me about your best friend. I'd love to hear about the special person in your life who you can always count on. Remember to use those descriptive words we talked about and don't be afraid to really express yourself. I'm excited to hear all about your amazing friend. So, that's it for today's shadowing practice. We talked about how to describe people's characters and used great vocabulary that you can apply in your own conversations. Remember, shadowing is like a secret weapon for improving your fluency and pronunciation. Now it's your turn. Practice shadowing this video, and don't be afraid to use these words when describing your friends or colleagues. The more you practice, the more natural it will become. You can even find other videos or podcasts to shadow and challenge yourself with different accents and speaking styles. Keep practicing and soon describing personalities will feel like second nature. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tips on how to improve your English speaking skills. Don't forget to drop your comments on the new words you pick from this video. See you next time and happy shadowing.